How's it going everybody? So we're out in the shop and in this episode I'm actually going to be making a sheath for the giveaway knife. So this was the one that we just got done doing, our last giveaway. Brute to Forge finish. This was one that was forged out of a scrap piece of steel and we went ahead, turned it into a knife, did a whole Nesmic inspired kind of Camp Cleaver style knife. Really awesome knife. I am most likely going to make myself another one of these because I really love the style of this knife. But I'm going to be making a Kydex sheath for it. We're going to be using this green Kydex right here. It's olive drab and we're going to do black eyelets. I think it's going to look really cool. I think that if I send one of my knives to a giveaway winner, it might as well come with a sheath so that it has the, the full package. So we're definitely going to do that. Now, they do get sent in an actual padded, lined, you know, zip pouch and all that stuff. But I would rather it have an actual sheath just in case they want to take it somewhere. They don't have to take this. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that. Get this thing knocked out today. I've got to get the oven warmed up so that we can actually start heating up the kydex, get it put in the press, get it formed, and start figuring out how we're going to design this sheath. So let's get into it. Now all we got to do is go ahead, figure out where this is at, and start kind of designing where we want the sheath to end up being. So we'll do that step next. So let's go ahead and figure out where the blade is. You can see there's a line here, a line here, and that's where the knife is. So that's roughly where our knife is right there. We can go ahead and start kind of placing out our areas where we're going to be putting our eyelets and then we'll start designing the sheath around that. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Right there. Time to cut it out and then start laying out some holes that I'm going to be drilling and everything like that.
we got the spots marked out where we're going to be putting our eyelets. They're one inch centers so that if you want to do a belt clip or something like that you can pretty much use any belt clip. Almost every single one of them have a one inch center uh, set up to where you can mount it wherever you want. So that's what I always do on these. We're just going to punch the center to make it easier to guide the drill bit. Just like that. Now we're going to use a eighth inch drill bit to start the holes and then once we get them started we're going to open them up with a step bit or a Christmas tree bit depending on what you call them to be able to get out to that quarter of an inch that we need to fit the shaft of the eyelets. I'm doing the wood behind here because if I don't this will dip down into the hole right here. Need a little bit of a backer so it goes in how it's supposed to. Now the initial holes are drilled and like I said we'll end up using a step bit to open it up like this right here and I have what we need already marked so I know how far to go down into it to make sure that we have the right size and what I do is I'll actually take this and I'll bring it up as opposed to pushing down into it you'll see what I mean And the goal is, whenever we have it all done, that whenever you put the eyelet in, you have excess right here. You never want your eyelet to be all the way to the edge. For one, it looks goofy. <laughs> but for two, whenever you go to press this around, this right here will roll over the edge. You don't want that to happen. But there's all of our holes. So this is one of the easiest ways to do your eyelets. All you're going to do, use your drill press, get your eyelet put through the hole, line it up, press it down. Boom. Then you just repeat it. Voila, there's everything done. Now what I got to do is go ahead and start making sure, modifying this a little bit with the heat gun, with the knife in it to make sure the tension's where it needs to be. Make our little thumb ramp that we're going to be doing and we'll be done. All right guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Nice little retention. Love that click. What do y'all think about that? Got our thumb ramp on there. Nice little profile to the sheath. Now, one of the things that I bet some of y'all have been thinking this whole entire time is, Eric, why don't you have your maker's mark on this knife? You see it right there. I went ahead and put it on there. I can 
electro etch it with my etcher that I have right here at any time. So I went ahead, put it on there so that he's actually getting the full blown knife with the maker's mark and everything on it. But we've got everything set up right here. I went ahead and made sure the edge was absolutely perfect. And it is. Without any effort, it shaves. <sighs> Gotta love that. So there you go. Got the package all together. Now all I got to do is box it up and get it shipped out to him. Guys, thank you all for coming by and watching this process. Hopefully, you know, every time I do a sheath, there are always different profiles and things like that. And hopefully you get a little bit of a takeaway every single time I do it. I know that my sheath videos aren't exactly super educational, but hopefully there was plenty of takeaways for y'all to actually, you know, get something out of a video like this. Guys, if there was, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. If you would, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely awesome if you would do that. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.